And then you can type anything you want. I'll call this time travel example PowerPoint video. The default is actually set to video. So if you're in XP, my videos. And then click next. I must call it for your computer. Well, if you want to upload it to YouTube, uh, uh, I don't recommend you go down to more settings. And you see that it's going to be whopping file. So what you want to do is select property DVD quality. And then click publish. What's this is doing? Is it saving your work as a video file that you could upload to YouTube? Now I'm going to pause the recording right here because this is going to take a while. So, once it's done, as you can see, it always says 24 minutes remaining. So, once it's done, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. And it's about 20 seconds left. And I'll show you what option you have when it's done. As you can have it checked for your movie when I click finish. It's optional. I'll uncheck it to save time. Click finish. And then you can close out of it. And then I'll save the changes this time. And now, what you can do is if you want to put it to the other program called Windows DVD Maker. It'll allow you to add uh, it'll add the will enable you to add but when I find it oh uh, here we go A video. Then you just click next and continue on with planning. I'll cancel that. And then we don't want to save the changes. Or what you can do is you can upload it to uh, YouTube. And as you can see, this is a video of the screen capturing software. Go to upload video file. And I'll click there. And I'll find the video. And as you can see, when I find it. That and then you can upload it to YouTube. But mine's too long and I'm not going to upload it anyway. And so that concludes our tutorial on how to convert PowerPoint files into video. And then you can upload it to YouTube and to DVD or whatever you want with it. And so have a good day.